Robert Harsh now took over from Brinton, and 200 of Rarick's canvases spent the rest of 1921 on the road to the West. Nicholas and Helena traversed the country as well. They required money and new contacts. In Buffalo, Rarick sought out the industrialist Spencer Kellogg Jr., who had a passion for traditional bookbinding. He purchased one of Rarick's painting Sons of Heaven, and donated to the family over several years. In Chicago, Rarick attracted the attention of an even more useful patron, the diplomat and businessman Charles Crane. The Chicago Art Institute attracted over 1 million visitors in 1921, its largest annual total to that date, and Rarick both benefited from and contributed to that success. The city's papers responded eagerly to the exhibit describing Rarick's art as virile and full of conviction. Reporters and cultural clubs begged Rarick for interviews. Marshall Field, Chicago's landmark department store, invited him to lecture in honor of a new line of clothing, based on prehistoric motifs.